So welcome to the first episode of the Thursday Q&A. And today I'm going to answer two questions that uh, my viewers ask me. One is about the media management, how to save a hard drive space inside of DaVinci Resolve. And the other one is how to add some image or some clips to your text. So I'm going to start with the text. So let's jump in the computer and let me show you how you can do it. So here we are inside of the edit page. And as you can see, I already have here some text with, as you can see, it has texture added. And let me show you how you can do it this way. So let's come here. Let's new new fusion composition. Let's create a new fusion composition. Let's call it text. For example, let's open it inside of the fusion page and here we are inside of the Fusion page and we have only our media out. So let's add our text. You can drag it over here and connect it. And let's type here Da Vinci and resolve two lines. Let's change, let me change here the, this one. Let me increase the size a little and let me reduce a little bit of the line spacing. Okay. So now we have our text, simple text plus node over here. And if you want to connect an image, add an image to your letters or a video clip, you can drag it over here, for example, this one. But now you can't connect it because you only have the mask input. So if you connect it, it won't do anything because it only uses that media in as a mask. So let's see how you can add it here. So first, let's select the text, come here to the shading tab. If you don't see that this in the inspector, just enable the inspector and come here to the tab, to the shading tab and come here to the type over here behind, beneath the properties. We have the type and here we have three options, solid, image and gradient. Let's select the image and immediately this input appears and now you can connect it to over here. And now you have an image, this image over here. Let me put it. So this is the image. So it's a gold leaf and we have it over here. Now, if we want to add something different, for example, these flames over here, let's put it in the viewer one. So this is a, an overlay. And now we have it also in the text. Now let's go and see some options that we have over here. So as you can see, the color image is the media in one. It's correct. Then we have here the image sampling. Use pixel and I always use wrap because if you put this, you, as you can see, you don't see a lot of difference, but I like to use wrap. And now the shading mapping, you can maintain aspect or stretch to fit. And I like to ma maintain the aspect, then the mapping angle. So you can rotate the image and the mapping size. So you can increase it or reduce it and add a lot of them. And also the aspect, if you want to change the aspect of the image, then the mapping level here is the most, uh, important thing because here you can change how the image is applied to your text. So in this case, it's applying to each character. So each letter has its own image. So the R is one image, the E is the same, the S is also using. So as you can see, it's almost the same aspect in each letter. And if you come here to the full image, it will put the, the image behind the text and only showing the, the, the parts that are inside of the letters. And we have the option to the text. It's more or less the same, but it will adjust a little bit the image. Then we have to the line. So it will add one image to the first line and another, the same image to the second line. And it will do the same to the word because it's two words and they are in different lines. So that's how, and we also have the character. So I like to use the full image or the text 
And if you come here, you can change the aspect or could stretch it up and do it like that. Or you can resize it and increase it. So you can adjust everything in here and you can still add all the other, the, the outline, for example, let's add here a white outline and you can also add, enable the shading. So you can do everything. And of course you can also add, so I have here, let me see where it, this is a clip, a, a small clip with some effects. Look, it's if we play it, you will see it uh, playing inside of the letters. And if we come here, you can do exactly the same in the shading in the, over here. So it's to the text. If you put full image and you can adjust it like this so it will play the video inside of the letters or the text or anything so as you can see it's very easy and now you can add cool effects to your videos now let's talk a little bit about media management so media management is very important because it will allow you to save space on your hard drives using the media management that uh, is available inside of DaVinci Resolve. So let me here open a project. Here we are inside of the edit page. As you can see, it's a simple project. Doesn't have a lot of things. It's just two clips and some audio here and something like that, nothing fancy. So let's see how the media management works. So come here to the file and over here we have media management and this window will pop up and you have here multiple options we have entire project we have the timelines or the clips normally i use the entire project because i want to back up and reduce all my entire project if you want to create just one timeline you can come here then you have to choose here the timelines and the clips, you can select the media pool clips, the select the timeline clips, all media, all of that. But normally I will use the entire project because I want to reduce the size of my entire project. Then we have two options, the copy and the transcode. I always use copy. I don't want to transcode anything to uh, another format. I want to use everything that I have and exactly as I have, so I want to copy it. So I always select this one. Then the destination where you want your clips to go, you select it here, you can browse and select it. Then we have here the options to copy the old media. It won't do anything. It will copy the entire project and just copy it, doesn't uh, change the size. Then the used media, if you have files in your um, project that you don't use, it won't co copy those files. So it, it will only copy the used files. And here is the used media and trim, keeping the, a num uh, 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 the number of frames that you select here handle. So it will give you, in this case, I have selected 48 frames. So it will give me 48 frames in the beginning and in the end. So it will trim the clip and leave 48 frames in each side, because if you want to in the future change just a little bit, you have something over there to work. It. And then use project name subfolder. So it will use that uh, name to create it and consolidate multiple edit uh, segments into one files. So if you select this option, it will grab all the, the files and it only creates one. And I don't want that. I want all these individual files separately. Then you have a second, uh, another um, selection over here that will preserve the hierarchy of the files, of the folders in your project. Normally I want, I leave it this at zero, but if you select this, normally it is at zero and you leave it at zero. You, if you do start, it will give you an error. So look, fail to copy the files. So if you want to 
enable this and you want to preserve that hierarchy, you have to put it bigger than zero. When I, the, the, my viewer asked me this because it will give you that error and that error is because of this here. So, or you increase it like to one or two, two. in my case, it will be two, but normally I will leave it unselected. And if you want to delete your old project and just have the new one, you enable the relink to the new file. So everything will be relinked to the new files and the other ones, you can delete them. In this case, I'm going to leave it uh, not selected because it's only for a demonstration. So if it's all media, it will be 10.29 gigabytes. And if I select this, it will be 9.23. It only reduced one gigabyte, but because this is a small project and the, I, I use the entire clip. So let's see, let's start and it will go and it will do it. It's fast because it's a small project, but if it's a big one, it will take its time. And after that, it will create, let's go here, let's go to the Explorer, let's go to where it created. So it creates this one. And if I sh sh should look 8.94 gigabytes and it will be like this. So it will, cre it will have all the clips, the video clips, in this case, all the audio clips. And also it will copy to your project all the things that you use, for example, in my case, I'm go I'm using in the project. If I come here to the project, this one is the this text over here that is in here in the power beans. So it's this one, and also the audio from this small music that I'm using. So it will put everything in here, and now it's smaller. So it's very important that you use this because if you don't want to buy a lot of uh, hard drives to store your medias, and this is very important because it will reduce to only the parts that you use. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I launch a video. And leave me your questions for the next videos. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, just leave them down below or send it to my email that will be listed down below also. So I hope to see you in my next video. Until there, bye.